Mussolini and Kennedy. I'm the cult of personality. The cult of personality. The cult of personality. Listen, let me tell y'all something about this song, bro. This is probably. I shouldn't say probably. It is. It's my favorite rock song of all time. And I don't think it will ever change. Since I've been listening, since I've been on this channel doing a lot of rock and roll music, you know, I've had some some great songs. Some great songs that are up there. They're up there. You know, uh, Zeppelin, whole lot of love. There's a lot of Zeppelins. Black Dog, I mean, gee, I mean, we could do, we could go all day on Zeppelin. Uh, ACDC got a couple up there for me. Um, who else got some of my favorite rock songs that I've heard on the channel? I stick with on the channel. Um, Hendrix. Hey, Joe, I said. What are you doing? It's cheating or going around town. You're going around town. Love Hendrix. Uh, damn. Metallica. There's a few bands. They got, you know, some great songs. Listen, some great songs that I have. Uh, oh, come on. Rage Against the Machine. Come on. Rage Against the Machine. Got a couple. Few of them. Uh, we could go all day long, but. I don't think any song, this is one of my favorite songs ever, ever made. You will not see first time hearing, first time reaction when you click on this video because that would be the lie, the, the biggest lie of all lies. This is one of my favorite songs ever in life. I don't think any song in history embodies music. The way this song does. I think this song is the definition of music. It is the perfect blend. Of rock. I mean it's right. It's mainly a rock song. But the hip hop influence that it has. It's like. It's the perfect. It, it, Music I don't even know what I'm trying to say man Listen to me This song Is one of the greatest songs Ever It's a reason why WWE Who else I feel like I still hear this song All the time In so many different ways where have I heard Cults of Personality recently? Again, mainly mainly wrestling with CM Punk. But I feel like I, I still hear this song a lot. Don't ask me the first time I... The first time I might have heard this song, it might have been Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. It might have been San Andreas. But I'm not completely sure. But again, man, this is one of the greatest songs I've ever heard. And you know, all these years that I've loved this song, embraced this song, I never thought to do re more research on Living Color. I don't know their names. I don't know anything about them. I just know they made one of the greatest songs to ever be created. Period. Let's find out more about Living Color, man. So this technically it, it, it technically is my official introduction to Living in Living Color, because um, again I I haven't I haven't you know done any re I don't know them. so it technically is a first time reaction. But for this song, no. Here we go. Living Color is an American rock band formed in New York City in 1984. Uh, the band currently consists of guitarist Vernon Reed, lead vocalist Corey Glover, drummer Will Calhoun, and bassist Doug Wimbish, who replaced Muzz Skillings in 1992. 
Stylistically, their music is a creative fusion influenced by heavy metal, funk, jazz, hip-hop, punk, and alternative rock. I love everything. I love everything I'm reading so far. The band's lyrics range from the personal to the political, including social commentary on racism in the United States. I mean, come on. I mean, everything I'm reading right now. I mean, come on, man. This, I mean, come on. Come on. I, I can't wait to hear more music from them. Uh, they have six studio albums so far. The band rose to fame with their debut album, Vivid, in 1988. Although they scored several hits, Living Color is best known for their signature song, Cult of Personality, which won a Grammy for Best Hard Rock Performance in 1990 and has been consistently used as the entrance theme for professional wrestler CM Punk since 2011. They were also named Best New Artist at the 1989 MTV VMAs and won their second Grammy Award for their follow-up album, Time's Up, in 1990. Their third album, Stain, also was also well-received by music critics. After disbanding in 1995, Living Color reunited in late 2000 and has released three more studio albums since then. Kaleidoscope, The Chair in the Doorway, and Shade. The band has been in the process of working on new material for the follow-up to Shade. That is great news. They've been signed to Megaforce, Sanctuary, and Epic. I love them. I love them. Oh, Vernon Reed is from Great Britain. Oh, wow. Wow. After hiring managers Jim Grant and Roger Kramer, the band hired prodigy lighting designer Andy Elias in November 1986 to strengthen their live shows with explosive visual productions. Four months later, so it said Vivid released on May 3rd, 1988, gathered sales momentum when later that year MTV began playing the video for Cult of Personality. The album reached number six on the U.S. Billboard 200 chart. On April 1st, 1989, the band performed on NBC Saturday Night Live. Four months later, the band gained further exposure as an opening act, along with Guns N' Roses for the Rolling Stones' Steel Wheels Urban Jungle Tour. Wow. They were on tour with the Rolling Stones and Guns N' Roses. I mean, if that doesn't if that doesn't give you everything you need to know, I mean, come on. Come on. Listen, man, I'm I'm ready to hear the song, bro. Again, heard the song, seen the video, everything. This is not a first time reaction. But let me tell you something. This is one of the greatest songs ever. And it should be appreciated as such. And in my estimation, it is the greatest. Let's go. And during the few moments that we have left, we want to talk right down to earth in a language that everybody here can easily understand.
Listen to me. I don't know what these dudes was on when they made this song. I'm trying to tell you. If if you listen, get mad. Again, I've heard some phenomenal music since I've been re- I mean, phenomenal, y'all. Phenomenal. I'm telling you what I know. This is one of the greatest songs ever created. It's not even a debate. I mean, come on, man. Vocals. Instrumentation. Guitar. I mean, he's slamming the life out of them drums. The message, the video, the swag, what they're wearing, everything. It is perfection. that ranked on some of the greatest guitar solos of all time I haven't heard every guitar solo so I'm asking y'all I'm asking you where is that ranked on one of the greatest guitar solos ever and it better be in the conversation look me in my face and lie to me and say that it's not I will smack you back in your mama's womb Period.
What you want me to say? I overreacted. I don't care. It's one of the greatest songs ever. It's not a debate, not a discussion. I will not. I, I, I. <laughs> if you disagree, I don't care. I do not care. This is one of the greatest songs ever created. One of the greatest songs ever created. Featured as the opening track. Oh, I gotta, I gotta listen to that whole album. I gotta listen to the whole album. Featured as the opening track and second single from their debut studio album, Vivid. Released on July 14th, 1988. Reached number 13 on the Hot 100. Number 9 on album rock tracks. Won a Grammy. Music video, one of VMA. Two VMAs. The band's guitarist and founder, and founder, excuse me, Vernon Reed, described the song as very special for the band, not just for its commercial success, but because it was essentially written in just one rehearsal session. Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. No way. This song was written in one session? No. The riff was stumbled upon while practicing something else, and by the end of the session, they had written what was to become their best-known song. That's crazy. The title comes from the from a psychological f uh, phenomenon called cult of personality, and the lyrics contain many political references. I didn't know this was a real thing. Cult of personality is the result of an effort which is made to create an uh, idealized and heroic image of a glorious leader, often through unquestioning flattery and praise. Historically, it has developed through techniques of mass media, propaganda, spectacle, the arts, patriotism, and government organized demonstrations and rallies. A cult of personality is similar to apotheosis except that it, that it is established by modern social engineering techniques, usually by the state or the party in one party states and dominant party states. I mean, come on, man. What, 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 what song? I mean, come on, man. Oh, oh. The solo was ranked number 87 in Guitar World's 100 Greatest Guitar Solos list. I got to hear the other 86. If you want to put Stairway to Heaven, Jimmy Page, fine. You want to put... <sighs> Fam, 87? Come on. I know I'm not in frame. I don't care. During rehe rehearsals at the band's loft in Brooklyn in 1987, lead singer Corey Glover was humming some notes. Guitarist Vernon Reed opened a small notebook of quotes and phrases for lyrical inspiration and turned to a page where he had scribbled, Look in my eyes, what do you see? The cult of personality. I mean, come on, man. The whole idea was to move past the duality of that's a good person and that's a bad person. What do the good and the bad have in common? Is there something that you, uh, unites Gandhi and Mussolini? Why are they who they are? And part of it, it is charisma. Absolutely. He also said cult of personality was about celebrity, but on a political level. It asks, what made us follow these individuals who were larger than life yet still human beings? Aside from their social importance, 
Malcolm X and Martin Luther King both look like Mantini idols. I gotta look up that word. That was a strong part of why their message is connected. Even why it's Barack Obama has that certain something. <sighs> the signature riff was improvised at the same rehearsal. Reed said that Cool Riff had a Zeppelin-ish vibe, but also a Mahavishnu orchestra thing going on. Who is this? Mahavishnu Orchestra was a jazz fusion band formed in New York City in 1971. Huh. Okay. I already had the lyrics, but with the music in place, very quickly took a life of its own. Come on, man. Come on, man. I don't know what to tell you. This is one of the greatest songs ever, man. I don't want to hear no discussion. It's not a debate. It is it's one of the greatest songs ever. Messaging. Instrumentation. Vocals. Composition. And now that I know that this song was made by mistake, or wasn't even the intention, and it was made in one day. <sighs> incredible. Just incredible. That's 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 it. That's it. That's it. There's nothing else to describe this song. There's no better way to describe this song. It's just perfect. It's perfect. Then I'm just in the video. I'm just in the video. Peace.